six, five, four, three, two, one. And there you see Progress 56 lifting off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, in Kazakhstan on its way to the International Space Station for a docking to the pier's docking compartment. Everything uh, proceeding nominally. Uh, structural parameters of the carrier we call nominal 40 seconds now into flight 40 seconds flight is nominal everything uh continuing nominally Vehicles delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. Be burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. We're now one minute and 16 seconds in. Velocity should be 1,100 miles per hour now. The rocket's four strap-on boosters have now been jettisoned, and the Progress 56 is an out at an altitude of uh, 30 miles above the Earth, 73 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, and traveling about 3,350 miles per hour. Everything continuing to look good as it uh, Progress 56 makes its way towards space on the path towards the International Space Station. Escape tower and launch shroud now have been jettisoned. Vehicles continuing on its course 52 miles above the Earth and 102 miles downrange. Traveling now 4,563 miles per hour. Everything continuing uh, to proceed as planned. Everything working nominally. Performing as expected. Uh, core stage of the Soyuz rocket that car that's carrying the Progress capsule into space is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, with a single engine with four fuel chambers providing 96 tons of thrust for its now four minutes and five seconds of operation. Back now with a live view inside the Russian flight control room outside of Moscow. About 20 seconds away from the second stage separation. You can see here at the sequence of events for the progress launch. Next up again is the second stage separation, which should be coming up any second now.
And a second stage separation has now been confirmed. The core stage engine is now finished and dropping away. About four minutes of powered flight remaining. Rocket's now being propelled by a single, single engine of the third stage, which is providing 30 tons of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. Progress 56 now 103 miles above the Earth and traveling 8,679 miles per hour. Teams on the ground reporting that third stage em engine is working nominally. Little over six minutes now until into uh, the flight of the progress. You can see that the next uh, event coming up will be about eight minutes and 45 seconds into the flight. That's the third stage shutdown and separation. Seven minutes now into the flight of Progress 56. It launched right on time at 4.44 p.m. Central Time and has a, just a little less than two minutes now left to go before it reaches space. Everything continuing to work nominally. Eight minutes into the flight now, less than a minute to go before that uh, third and final stage cuts off once the progress has reached orbit. All systems still performing as expected. And the teams here on the ground now confirming that the uh, third stage engine cutoff and separation has taken place as planned. Uh, Single liquid fuel engine is shut down and dropped away while the progress continues on, now at an altitude of 125 miles above the Earth and traveling just under 17,000 miles per hour. And now the... Uh, Teams on the ground also confirming that uh, the spacecraft has automatically executed its pre-programmed commands to deploy its antennas and solar arrays.
Now seeing a live view from the International Space Station. Uh, about uh, 260 miles above the Earth and uh, the Progress 56 now safely on its way to join it. Uh, launched on time again at 4.44 p.m. Central Time and has now reached orbit. Uh, well on its way to the International Space Station for the docking scheduled at 10.30 p.m. Central Time tonight where it will be docking to the station's piers docking compartment, um, bringing with it 5,705 pounds of cargo. Russian cargo vehicle Progress 56 is now safely on its way to the International Space Station following a successful launch at 4.44 p.m. Central Time. 